Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and uh, thank you, uh, Secretary Pompeo, for your service. Secretary Pompeo, we have uh, quite the record of President Trump's uh, business relations with Russia. Uh, extensive reporting and public records show a large amount of money from former Soviet states and Russia into Trump projects. Uh, Trump International Tower and Hotel in Toronto, the Trump Hotel in Panama, the uh, Trump Project in Soho and New York City are a few of the, the big examples here. And here's another one. A Russian oligarch bought a property from President Trump for uh, 95, candidate Trump at the time, or maybe a little before, for 95 million in 2008. Less than four years after President Trump paid 41 million. So he more than doubled this money. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. in 2008 stated at a real estate conference in New York, and I quote here, Russians make up a pretty disproportionate cross-section of a lot of our assets, end quote. Uh, Donald Trump tried to build a Trump Tower in Moscow for 30 years. He even tweeted in 2013, Trump Tower Moscow is next. That's in quotes. In 2015, answering a question from indicted Russian operative and alleged spy Maria Butina, candidate Trump made clear his desires with Russia, stating, I would get along well with Putin and that I don't think we need the sanctions. Now the Russian ambassador to the United States has said the president made, and this is his quote, important verbal agreements with President Putin. And he seems to know more about uh, more about Helsinki and what happened there than the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. As we saw in Helsinki and throughout his presidency and the campaign, this president is extremely sympathetic to the very Russian government that attacked and continues to attack our democracy and those of our allies. It's a fact of political life today that many Americans are concerned about the unthinkable that a U.S. president could have compromised a compromising relationship with a foreign power. The president could clear this all up in three simple ways, releasing his tax returns and those of the Trump Organization and the taxes from the various family businesses, some of which we don't even know about. After Helsinki, do you think that the American people deserve to know what's in President Trump's tax returns and business interests that, that are intertwined with Russia? Senator, I'm going to try to stay out of the uh, same uh, political circus that you and I ended up in last time I was sitting here and simply respond by saying uh, this same president with which you seem to express such deep concern is engaged in a massive defense buildup, which threatens Vladimir Putin's regime. He instructed us to put together a nuclear posture review that has set Vladimir Putin on his ear because of its robustness and the recapitalization of our nuclear program. He's kicked out 60 spies. We banned Kaspersky. You know, we I, put $11 billion in the Sec European Mr. Defense Secretary, Initiative. Secretary, you've already No, Senator, said actually, that. I haven't even begun to scratch No, 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 surface. but you've already – you haven't answered my question, so let me try it a little different way. Wouldn't you want to know, as Secretary of State – I mean, I, I'm taking you in your sincerity here as Secretary of State, whether all these Russian – financial interests, oligarchs, and others are part of the decision-making of the president. I mean, wouldn't you want that out in the open and to understand what went on? It's Helsinki. It's, it's an easy kind of yes or no question. Senator, I don't need secondhand understandings of what President Trump is instructing his administration to do to push back against Russia. I have first-hand understandings no, well, and, uh, and directives. Well, let and me I'll ask just, the question we, a little we, bit we've, we've opposed here. Nord Stream 2. We've got a 4 by 30 out of NATO that, that also is a big setback for Russia. I mean, I, I'm happy to continue the list. I'm, I'm happy yeah, uh, to, well, to cease there. But I, I, will, I will submit the entirety of this administration's actions against Russia for please, the record, if I might. Please do. We'll back a truck up and get it on in here. Yeah. Sorry. Candidate uh, Trump has failed to keep his promise to disclose his tax returns. Every presidential candidate since Richard Nixon has disclosed Jimmy Carter even sold his peanut farm to avoid a conflict of interest. The situation with President Trump's potential foreign policy conflicts of interest is unprecedented and unacceptable. And under the Emoluments Clause, I think it's unconstitutional as well. But let me just ask a couple of questions about Helsinki. You talked about what you were tasked with. Um, 
The Director of National Intelligence, Coates, stated that at the Aspen Security Forum that he did not know what happened during the one-on-one -on -one meeting in Helsinki. Did the President personally debrief you on this conversation, and are you 100 percent confident that you know everything that President Trump discussed with President Putin? That's a very easy yes or no. If you don't want an answer at all, move on to the next one. I'm very so yes or a no? I'm very confident that I received a comprehensive debriefing from President Trump. Good. Okay. Now, do you know for a fact whether President Trump or President Putin discussed any investments in Trump properties or any Trump projects, such as the previous attempt to build a Trump real estate project in Moscow? Senator, again, I'm going to try and stay out of the political circus. No, but were that you, question, question sir, were you, were you tasked with that? You I gave us a list came, of what you were I came here to talk about American foreign policy today. I have attempted to articulate President Trump's all, policy. All of these to business Russia. interests are entwined, sir, with our foreign policy. Yes, a foreign policy that has led to a massive defense buildup, a nuclear posture review that has frightened Vladimir Putin, all, uh, 60 spies, I mean, 219, 213 sanctions. Let me also ask you about an, an additional question on Helsinki. When I was a member when, of Congress, I tried desperately to get President Obama to do one of those things. And when, it was when President Trump hosted top Russian officials at the White House last year, he bragged about how he had fired James Comey. Uh, at his press conference with Putin, President Trump called Special Counselor Mueller's investigation a disaster for the country. Can you tell us what President Trump discussed? about the investigation during his private meeting with President Putin. Uh, I, I'm not going to talk about private Well, were problems. you tasked with anything in that respect? Senator, when I'm tasked uh, about something for American foreign policy, I promise you this committee will know. Okay, and you weren't tasked with anything there? Senator, when I'm tasked with something by the President relates to foreign policy, I assure you that this committee will be made aware of it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Senator Gardner.